So hi everybody and welcome back to Sun Real Engine 5 tutorial series and this is video number 16 and we are going to talk in this video a little bit about planning which I should have to do normally <laughs> before I start cr um, creating a game but we do it now why so when I start this game I have to decide or like I said I normally before I start creating a game at all I have to decide what kind of uh, what kind of game I want for example I already choose here the third person template and the third person template is very good for certain kind of games for example RPG that's I hope you know all what an RPG is and this kind of games I use most time this few this third person template but not all RPG there are of course shooter games who use this third person template too and a very <laughs> very very nice and famous example is Fortnite and then we can also um, um, do of course also some some MOBA games with that that's also possible or and so on you can think about many 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 different kind of games and I said this uh, this here now because depends on the map which we are going to create we have to choose what kind of a game we want of uh, yeah aiming right so for example if you say you like more uh, pistols grenades and uh, something like that then you would uh, go for a fps game perhaps and uh, like fortnite or you say i like more magic uh, casting and so on then it would be more like an rpg which means you will yeah fight powers monsters and cast spells and attack skills and like that so in my case because this is just a demonstration game but we create a game we will perhaps go for both perhaps perhaps just one but at start i can say we go for um casting spells and so because this uh, there are more special effects and some nice things uh, later this fps is more there is already a starter game out there, Lyra with Unreal Engine 5. This is already a FPS game, which you can download, and I hope you have already downloaded and tested it out. This is awesome, and you can build up on this one. So that's why I think we focus on this uh, tutorial series more on casting and spells and something like that. That said, and depends now i have defined a little bit the game uh, for that so i will have also um style this map depends on yeah like a casting game i would say where we do spells and uh, i don't know fight faust monsters and so something like that just use your imagination and yeah create something awesome and that's that for that i think that's enough for this thing and now here is one more point which we have to discuss and normally uh i would not do this at a beginner tutorial but it's better to do and what is that we will consider to um learn multiplayer at start two many 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 people will say uh, forget multiplayer at start just uh, make a standalone game and try that first and then learn multiplayer but we are not going to do this and the reason for that is because if you create for example a game right it is very important to decide at the start if you a game is a uh, should support multiplayer or not because if you say my game will definitely not support multiplayer then you can make a game like we did till now a stand alone game it's called a standalone game which means a single player game and 
that is easier and straightforward. But there is a big problem and that's why it's so important to decide this at start. What is the problem? After you said I make a single player game and you created it, like I said, let's say till the end and you said later, whoa, my game is so cool, but it would be even better when I create also multiplayer features in, then you have a big problem because this one is possible definitely, but you will probably rework all what you did till this point uh, um, again, which means you go all through the codes, have to change here, have to change that and have to um, adjust here and adjust that, which means in the end of uh, also in the end effect you have a double work, and that's why also Epic and uh, Unreal Engine um, advise uh, developers to decide this at start and say go for standalone game, then don't change to a multiplayer game. But the other way around is better when we have already a multiplayer game. Let's say we have at least set it up for a multiplayer game also. And you say later, okay, I don't care about multiplayer actually. I want to play this now, my multiplayer game in single player. This one works easy because all multiplayer games you can uh, change without many <laughs> changes into a single player game. And that works out of the box then. This is the reason why we learn also multiplayer here in this starter course which is which say most that's probably not the best thing but we learn anyway all from scratch new all uh we test this out and so there is no big difference if we have now multiplayer included or not that said there is one more note i have to do the problem with multiplayer is and that's why we will probably not do all things there. You need later two PCs or more PCs to test it because you have here one player and then you need another player on another PC to test it perfect uh, or over, over the internet, for example, then you need there uh, another PC. And actually I have only one PC right now here, so that will not work for me, but we still set all up, at least with our test, it's at least all the basics, not that one stuff. And the last thing, what I want, no, not the last, but there's one more thing, but there's one more intro, uh, important thing about multiplayer. Um, you know that Unreal Engine <laughs> uses C++ and in multiplayer, they prefer normally C++. Why the hell they prefer C++? Because multiplayer is heavy, heavy, um, heavy loaded on traffic. Traffic means here for a standalone game, you have only your character and then here the environment. And this one is easy to manage. But let's say you have now here a 60 or 90 FPS game with high graphics and there are other characters, let's say over 10, 20, walking here around too, then this will cause traffic and traffic means performance reduction. And performance reduction must be compensated with a very good um, a programming language. And that's why many, many programming engines use normally C++ or even if it's better compiler language, but I don't think there is anyone using a compiler language, but they replace certain um, parts of the engine even with compiler language because it is so important that the performance is stable on critical places. And that's why there comes C++ uh, in handy and there will be many features in C++ with multiplayer but there are but no problem don't worry that you have to learn now C++ there is also many features about in blueprints now for example this new starter game in Unreal Engine 5 Lyra which you can download this one 
is all made, I think, in C++, uh, in Blueprint. With other words, you can learn from that one too, to how we can set this up. And so perhaps I take some infos from there and with the documentation and we'll present it here. So I've talked too much. <laughs> and now the last thing, what I want to show you how the multiplayer is perhaps to set up is, well, and some settings. We go here on top, Here's the play button and here are three dots. We click on the dots and here we can select where we want play. And when we go down here, we have here multiplayer options. And these are our multiplayer options. At the, uh, right now, the default setting is one player. We can change this. Let's change this to two players. And here's the net mode, which means we are here in play standalone this means single player now we have two modes here the one is a listen server and then we have also a client server and what does uh, this one mean just these are modes uh, you have to uh, read the documentation better for that one what this means and this means uh, in the end effect, the client server needs a dedicated server and this one needs just a host server. But these are words, perhaps you don't know what this means. You need here the documentation, definitely. We select here the listen server. And that means, okay, one more time, the listen server is selected. And in advanced settings, we don't need anything right now. There are, so we can open it up and I show you something there too. In advanced settings, you can go, we are in play. We would go to multiplayer, I think here. Let's see, ah, here we can set the window, uh, for example, of our second screen. And what we can set, this is probably interesting. And here, if it's centralized or not, let's... Let's, uh, yeah, let's keep the all defaults right now. Later you can change this and some other settings. Ah, here are multiplayer actual settings, sorry. And here client settings. Here, this one we just set. Then we can set here something and here's the Windows uh, resolution, I think, and so on. Okay, this one you can watch. These are just settings for Windows and so And after you set this to two, net mode to play listens uh, play as a listen server and then you click on play now we can see two windows the little window is my second it says on top uh, net mode client one and i can switch with alt tab and now i'm here in this big screen and the big screen is actually my listen server uh, which means um which means this one uh acts as the host the server is the who controls all later and with that said let me show you one more thing when i, I open this one up and change oops change to this side and walk here we can see here for example my character we expect this right so when I walk here, I can see this. And this will be a big problem <laughs> in multiplayer uh, because this one is set replicated. Replicated means uh, show in network the other character. Let's. This is not the right explanation, but just for a starter to understand. Uh, so this one is not normal uh, in all cases. Um, and what I mean with that is some things you can't see here. Let me try to ex show you a demonstration. I don't know if this is possible. Let's see uh, if I can find fast an example. I go to basics shapes. I don't know if this works because perhaps this one is also replicated. So I put here, for example, this cube, uh, cube here and I play again. And okay, this one is also replicated actually. Is there anything not replicated? <laughs> and anyway, what I mean with not replicated is I will show you later more better demonstrations like this. 
normally you would not the one the server will all time see this cube because he's the host he um he has the game mode later this one this game mode is only on the server and the client the client here will have not oops here will have not a game mode because the server set the rules the server allows player to join the server controls that the client is not cheating that's why the client has no game mode and so on but i think this one we will talk a little bit later perhaps more but important here is to note we will learn game uh, multiplayer in this to series as well but not focused what i mean not with focus we will just learn it along when we need it we will focus first on creating for example this design map here then characters and so on and later when we come to a point where we say hey it would be cool have a second player here a friend uh, or something like that then you we will add it so we will focus uh, first more on the standalone um, components and later on uh, multiplayer as well but of course very important i will add them when we need them for example when i add here a second component or something and here a character is joining and then i have to code most time in coding section then there are some strange things when we don't set this up right at front ah, on the way we will see it okay i talked here too much i stop here and in the next video there we go to create and design this map we create a landscape and so on see you there bye